instant, they were gone forever. More and more of us are joining the ranks of a resistance. Average, normal, educated people. Brad, it's dinner time. Brady, invite him over for dinner. Thank you, neighbor. We're having a 10-year-old next door. Cheryl, this is Brooke. Hi. Brooke, Cheryl. It's, nice. it's really so nice to meet you, too. What kind of work do you do? I'm a structural engineer. He had this blueprint. It was an office building. This project is taking forever. Why would you tell me it was a mall? Why would you lie? I've got a possible name change. The death certificate, what, what does it say? He's changed his name. To the name of a person who died the day before? Yeah, why? You do it to hide the person you were. Hi, neighbor. His name is Oliver Lang. I didn't know you taught a course in terrorism. I know that's a pretty frightening subject. It deals with extremist groups. Seems they got one everywhere. Are you listening Your to me? Your neighbor is a terrorist that has been blowing up buildings. There is a blueprint in his house he does not want me to see. Michael! You locked yourself out. Something is being planned. Our house is your house. Yeah, and, you know, in his spare time. That's it. He takes his kid Brooke, to camp and Brooke, takes his daughters that house, to ballet that class. House is not normal. Oh, that house is normal, Michael. Brooke. Do you have something on this guy or not? Because if this is all you got, you need to stop teaching that class because it's getting inside your head. You're going to pick up my son? He was taken home this afternoon, sir. What the hell have you done with my son? <laughs> Think you know me? You gotta get everybody out of the building. They want the FBI this time! You wanna tell me something I don't know? You stay a good neighbor and you'll have him back. Brad! You don't calm down. There's a bomb in the van! Stand by. Brad's in there! Stop it! I don't know that I can guarantee his safety. We're having a party. You're more than welcome to stay.